when you're building your brand and getting your product made, you need to have a logo. So even if you're not sure if you're gonna go forward with this brand, you definitely need to get a logo. Otherwise people are going to be able to hijack you and this might turn into a long-term brand and hopefully it is if you're going through all this time and work. So uh, where are you gonna go to get a logo and what are you gonna be kind of looking for? So I like to keep logos very simple because uh, you know, the more complex that it is, uh, there's a lot more to mess up and then you have to fit it because like, you're going to be putting this logo on every product that you have. Now let's just quickly show. So let's say that there's Nike. Okay. So with Nike, they have the trademark name Nike and then they have their famous swoosh or whatever. Okay. Uh, so they're going to be able to put in. So essentially Nike has many trademarks. Okay. And uh, this is one of their most famous ones, but it's changed over time. So you're gonna be able to change and update if you get a new logo for your brand. You could always put your additional trademarks onto that, but right away, what we're gonna to wanna to do is probably just get a text-based one or maybe one with a little bit of design. Uh, you know, maybe so we could have like Alpaca My Bags. This is already a brand, so I hope they don't get mad at me. You know, Alpaca My Bags, but obviously we don't want it and we probably don't want it like this. Uh, maybe we're gonna have this and then we have like a little llama on it or something. What we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna kinda wanna go and find people who just specialize in making logos and get a couple couple of them and describe our needs a bit here. Uh, and not worrying too much about this at first uh, because there's a lot of other things that are more important for design like you know what you're putting on your product actually and what you're going to be having as like all your aesthetics, your packaging and the quality of your product and what you actually put on the product. So the logo is not gonna be too big here. Um, unless you really think that it should be, you could go above and beyond, but it's not that important in my opinion. All the other parts of the product are. So where are you gonna go? You're gonna go to Fiverr. Is the one that I suggest you could go other places. Like if you really wanna get in-depth one, you could go 99designs uh, and get a lot of people working on it. But I think you should just go to Fiverr because here you're gonna find people that do logo designs every day. They're pumping them out, okay? You're gonna, uh, what I would suggest is go get three people, okay? Write down what you want your logo to say. Make sure you've done your trademark search that, uh, you know, as you've chosen your brand name that you're not doing something that's trademarked. And then here's the thing, if you get like an actual design like that Nike swoosh, it's actually harder to get with this. So like, let's say we had Nike like this. If you get a, so if you get text and an image together, uh, you're actually going to have to get a trademark for the image one and the text. You're gonna to have to actually get two trademarks uh, if you're doing that, but if it's just plain text, uh, you can just get the actual brand name trademarked uh, and then you have to get the image like form factor of the brand name trademarked, but not that important. We just want, the, the main goal here is literally just, you wanna get some logo uh, with the word, whatever you're going to call your brand and get a, you know, somewhat appealable design that you like that matches your brand and your customers of what you're trying to do. So go here, write down, you know, what the text you want to say. So write the text, uh, and then maybe some, you know, maybe, uh, include some examples of things that you like and, uh, you know, kind of general theme that you're going for. And then go ahead and give it to three people that you find on Fiverr that have designs that are somewhat similar to what you like, have good reviews. So we have a link down there where you could get 20% off if you go to Fiverr. Um, another option, if you're really looking to get a customized one, there's 99 designs down there too. And then there's also Upwork, or you could go to find a, you know, a designer that you know or something, or you could do it yourself. Uh, yeah, so those are gonna be your options. Since I actually got my logo design made with 99designs when I actually got my product design made. Uh, so I got a little added in bonus there. But if you're just looking for a logo and you're not customizing too much, uh, yeah, there's no need to go do 99designs for a simple logo on a brand that's not proven yet. You could always update it as time goes on too. So also make sure that you're gonna get the website for this brand name that you're getting uh, because you definitely want that to protect yourself. Yep, so getting the website and having the logo on your product here that's customized is going to help protect us before we get our trademark because that takes nine months. So this all helps us in case somebody hijacks our listing uh, into Amazon and then also helps show our branding and build our brand 
as customers go and they, they recognize the logo, the company can go to our website and all that good stuff. So you do wanna make sure that you've gotten a pretty good design because this logo is going to be going on your product packaging. It's going to go on your product. It's also going to be in your product pictures and you're gonna put it on your website uh, and your packaging insert. So it's going to be everywhere. So you wanna make sure that uh, this is not just uh, <laughs> Times Roman numeral you know, text font. <laughs> Uh, from Microsoft Word, so definitely make sure to get a good one. Uh, so, yep, so definitely make sure to get a good quality logo. All right, so uh, good luck, and the Alpaca wishes you the best with your logo.